Hello YouTube people, let me tell you why this Pagani design is absolutely wonderful watch. So no matter how wonderful the watch is, all watches have positive negative points, I will talk about them, I'll tell you everything I know. <laughs> and but first of all, let's talk about the specs of this watch. Well, the most important spec for this watch is the price, the price point. I personally paid 85 euros for this watch which I believe is absolutely incredible for what I get for, for the money. First of all, it has Seiko NH35A movement, which is it's very good. For the price, it's absolutely incredible. I had several watches with this movement and I never had a problem with it. Another thing for the price is absolutely wonderful that this watch has ceramic bezel. Well. Ceramic bezel is not as easy to scratch as, for example, metal bezel, so it's great, very big plus point. But even bigger plus point, I would say, is that this watch for this price has sapphire crystal. Let me check it real quick. Not only the main glass is, is sapphire, but what I really like is that this little cyclop is also a sapphire crystal, which is absolutely wonderful. Because on my previous diver watch, Invicta Pro Diver, that cyclop was all scratched up. The cyclop, if it's mineral, it's gonna be scratched up very easily, very quickly, because it's the, the first thing that's sticking out. So the thing that this watch has sapphire crystal cyclop, it's a very, very big plus for me. Speaking about the specs, another thing, this watch has screw down crown which is absolutely wonderful. Well, all divers should have screw down crown and it has a hundred meters of water resistance, which personally for me is absolutely plenty. And the loom of this watch, for example, with this watch, I can see the loom until the very morning. The loom on this watch is blue. I like that a lot. Uh, green loom works better because human eye is more sensitive to green light but I think the blue loom w looks just so cool, so good. I like this blue loom very much. Let's speak about the size. Lug to lug distance is 47.2 millimeters. It's medium size, I would say. It fits on my hand perfectly fine. The diameter of this watch by my measurements is 41.3 millimeters, which is also very good size for a diver's watch on my hand. And thickness is just 12.5 millimeters. Well, I shouldn't say just, but it's not as big as, for example, Invicta Pro Diver. And I will put it to the plus points of the watch later on because it gives a great form factor for this watch, this kind of thickness. And speaking about the specs, you also get the bracelet with solid links, solid end links and milled clasp. And that bracelet is also very good quality, I would say. Clasp not so much, but I will talk about that a little bit later. Well, with specs out of the way, let's talk about positive and negative points about this watch. It doesn't have many negative points in my opinion, and these negative points aren't really that important. And let's start with the negative points. So first negative point, I would say personally for me, the face of this watch looks a little bit boring because if I would compare it to Invicta Pro Diver, for example, Invicta Pro Diver has a very nice, beautiful applied logo on the face, which is very shiny, looks very nice. And Pagan Design is just a simple print. Pagan Design Explorer and it doesn't look premium, you know, like Invicta does. Another thing which I'm not the biggest fan of it has matte finish dial, which has slight sunburst effect, but nothing too fancy. And for example, Invicta Pro Diver has glossy finish dial, and glossy finish dial looks so much more elegant, so much more premium. But that's, that's down to the personal preference, really. So I'm just talking about my preference. <laughs> so it's not a negative point, it's just the thing I just want to point out. About the watch itself, I personally don't really see any negative points anymore. It's just just the face. It could be a little bit prettier. The logo could be applied. The, the black dial could be glossy finish. 
But that's just, you know, it's not a negative, it's just personal preference. Another negative point, which is actually not a personal preference, but actual negative point, is the clasp. This clasp actually is very good quality. It, when you lock it down, it sits very, very securely, nothing wobbles around, nothing moves, nothing makes any stupid noises. It's very good clasp. Th there is one problem, it's not finished. And by saying that, I mean that the edges of this clasp are very, very sharp. You can cut paper with this clasp. And it's pretty dangerous, I would say. You can hurt yourself with this clasp. The first thing you do when you buy this watch, you have to soften out the edges of this watch, which is very easy to do. I softened out all the edges on this clasp and everything is just perfectly finished now. So I'm not really complaining, it's a very simple thing to do, but I have to warn you, be careful. Don't hurt yourself, don't hurt the people you hug with this watch on your hand. Another thing about this clasp, this big part of the clasp was pretty difficult to open. You put your nail under this end of the clasp, you try to open it and it's a little bit difficult. So I just took a nail filler and removed some of the material of that of that hook and now it's very easy to open and why i'm not really saying that's the negative point because it's better when the clasp is too stiff and you can file the the hook a little bit off and make it easier to open rather than the clasp would be too loose too easy to open sharp edges and was difficult to open but these things I, i'm telling you took no more than 20 minutes to fix and other than that I see only positive points about the watch so negative points only kind of boring face a little bit and clasp was not finished and that's all I don't see any more negative points about this watch if you are all right with having a homage watch this watch is absolutely incredible and let's move on to the positive points because it's plenty. <laughs> it has plenty of positive points. Well, I, as I told you before in the specs, uh, the biggest positive point is the price, of course, the price point. And what you get for the price is absolutely incredible. First positive point, I would say, is the form factor of this watch. There are many divers, many homages, and not all of them have a very good form. For example, Invicta Pro Diver, it has a very big belly and because of that Invicta Pro Diver doesn't really work well on NATO straps because it wobbles around, it feels top heavy, it feels comfortable on the hand only with its original bracelet. And this watch, it has pretty short legs and it has no belly which means this watch works wonderfully well on any strap. Speaking about original bracelet feels incredible, really good, but about that a little bit later. So what I want to tell you that if you put this watch on the NATO strap, it sits very comfortably, it doesn't wobble around, it feels very stable on the hand. And I like this thing a lot because not many divers feel good on the NATO strap because a lot of divers are pretty fat and they feel top heavy, but this watch does not feel top heavy. It is pretty flat and it sits very stable on the hand, even with a NATO, hand, NATO strap. It doesn't wobble around, it doesn't feel heavy. It feels perfect with NATO strap, absolutely wonderful. So speaking about how this watch sits on the hand, let's talk about its original bracelet. All bracelets make some kind of noises, but this doesn't sound cheap. I mean, on the hand, this feels very well made, very good quality product, really feels premium, no complaints. Could be a little bit softer around the edges, but they aren't really sharp, you know. Only sharp edges were on the clasp, but the bracelet itself is all right. Solid end links, solid links, and links are connected with screws, so it's very easy to adjust. It's Pretty difficult to micro adjust the clasp because it doesn't have drilled holes so everything is done inside the clasp. But once you figure it out it's very easy actually. <laughs> you just need to unlock this micro extension and 
disconnect one end, put the bracelet sideways inside the clasp and it simply comes out. That's it. It's very simple. Then you place it back in in the position you want. Very simple. So the bracelet itself, wonderful. No complaints. The clasp had sharp edges, but it's very good, very stable, locks in place very well. And it has a very, very good thing. And I've been using this thing quite a lot. This micro extension, as I saw on YouTube, not many people really know how to use it. <laughs> so you can't really open this micro extension by this angle. It won't, won't open. You have to set it at 90 degrees angle and let, then pull it. And then it comes out. And if it's a little bit too stiff, just play with it for a while. Close it up, open it up, close it up, open it up for several times and it will loosen out. If it won't, just open it up and you see this little groove that locks it in place. Take a na nail filler and just loosen it up a little, take off a little bit of material. So I really like this micro extension, Pagani design. Please do this on every watch. I like this micro extension so much. It's so useful, really. I've been using this every day. So that's it about the bracelet, about the clasp. Not much to tell anymore. <laughs> it's great, wonderful. Now let's talk about the watch a little bit more. So you all want to know, how is the bezel? And the bezel is a little bit loose, but I don't see that as a negative. I don't like the bezels on diver watches when they are too stiff. I understand the reason behind that, so you won't bump it into that and reset the, your bezel into different position. But come on, honestly, who is gonna dive with these watches anyway? It's, it's just basically for fun. I see a bezel only as a stress relief device for office workers. You sit next to a table and if nobody can hear you so you cannot annoy anyone, you can just simply... play with the bezel as a stress relief toy and at least in my case everything is very nicely aligned it's great it's great bezel action no complaints so another great point not many watches have good crowns i don't care about quartz watches but mechanical watches especially tool watches they must have good crown and that was the problem with Orient Ray 2, because the crown was a little bit too small, it was very slippery, and it was overprotected. So it was almost painful to use the crown on Orient Ray 2. The best crown that I have seen so far had Invicta Pro Diver. It was very grippy even to the very edges. These grooves on Invicta Pro Diver's crown were just amazing. Invicta Pro Diver has perfect crown. And this watch is not far off. It's not as grippy as Invicta Pro Diver because these grooves don't really go till the very edge. They kind of are smoothed out on the edge. And that makes it slightly more difficult than Invicta Pro Diver to use. But still, in comparison, this is great crown. It pops off very nicely. Well, winding up, come on, it's Seiko on H35A. It feels great, really great. It feels quality movement inside. And the thread on the, on the crown also feels great. No problem, sketches very easily. Doesn't feel like grind metal on metal. Everything's fine. And when I pop the crown out, I can clearly see that it has a rubber seal as well. So it's great. Great crown, really. Not as good as Invicta Pro Diver, but it's not far off. Okay, another positive point, those hands on this watch, Mercedes hands. I personally am not a fan of Mercedes hands. I believe they are a little bit overdone. It's too much. Too many watches have Mercedes hands, but that's just my personal preference. And even though I don't like Mercedes hands, I cannot deny that these hands on this watch are done very, very nicely. It looks premium. And what I mean by that, these hands are polished very, very nicely. And even the very edges are very fine. I don't see any imperfections. And what's the best about these hands, that they are a little bit curved. They are not flat. They have a little curvature. And when you hit the light in the right angle, 
you can clearly see how the light folds through the hand. It's, it's really wonderful. It looks premium. Even though I don't like Mercedes hands, I cannot deny these hands are done very nicely. So the final plus point is personal preference, but I really, really like how this watch looks like. And I really like how it feels like. This watch looks premium and it actually feels premium on the hand. Everything is just wonderful, at least to my example. I'm very happy with it. So let's move to the conclusions. And the conclusions are very simple, very simple. For this price, you get an amazing watch. For this price, it's just absolutely wonderful. And I, I want to recommend this watch to you. Uh, yes, if you are considering buy it, just go ahead and buy it. But be warned, none of these basically, as far as I know, uh, they, those cheap watches from AliExpress, they have no quality control. Nothing inspects these watches. And it's always a gamble what you're gonna get. Something might be misaligned, something might be scratched up. Uh, I don't say this sharp clasp is a quality control issue because I believe they all go like that unfinished, but that's just cheapens the price and it's easy thing to fix, so I'm not complaining. But be warned, quality control issues issues happen from time to time. But for, for this price, it's a gamble worth taking. So, absolutely wonderful watch. I'm, I'm super happy with this watch. Really, really wonderful watch. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.